Everyone, so exciting. The sticks are walking right past our vehicle, the entire prunksters. And the Birmingham males are going to bring up the rear. Listen, listen. How incredible is that? And they're going to walk all of them right past our vehicle. They're all very relaxed with us. And then bringing up the rear will be, I'm not sure how many Birmingham males are here yet. We'll have to wait and see. But they're going to come through just now as well. It's going to be amazing. So we had to wait our turn, as, as we said before, to get into the siding. So we've got two other vehicles with us. We will get a nice chunk of time with them. Not as long as we usually spend, but it will be well, well worth it. So you can see they all came down the road and then just walked in right behind us. And now they're carrying on in that general direction. Hopefully they're going to go down to Chitwa Chitwa Dam. And if they go down to the dam, I'm hoping that they drink because that is going to be an epic, epic visual. What I would like to do is I'm going to move out of the way so the other two game drive vehicles can follow the cubs down. And I just want to come up and see if we can get a view of those Birmingham males. So I'm just going to pull forward through here and we're going to wait and see who it is. And uh, you all will have to let me know. Here they come straight through here. And they are going to take the same line that the Sticks Pride did as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to let them come through. We're going to get some nice views. Then I'm going to turn the vehicle around and look at everybody. Oh, what a great morning. Tandy and Cub, Ralph with his leopard up in the Mara. Now we've got the Bur two, at least two of the Birmingham males and the whole Sticks Pride. This is, and we had Shadow and Youngster. I mean, this is a great morning. There we go there. Now they were on a water buck kill. But I don't think that the kill was actually big enough for anybody to get full, completely full on because of how their bellies are looking. Um, usually they're full, 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 the fat, fat bellies. I'm just going to turn the vehicle around up here. Now, one of the reasons why I also move away where is because when we're doing segments, obviously I'm talking quite a bit. Sometimes the guests on the other vehicle also needs to, need to listen to their guide. And then also sometimes, like we like to do, the moment of silence is pretty amazing. So for us, because you're with me on camera, but you're not physically here, I have to describe to you these tangible moments. But for the guests that are on those vehicles, they're feeling those tangible moments. Um, so I also like to just give them a little bit of space just so that they can experience everything completely. I'm going to come up here and just move to the side a little bit so they can all get a nice photo. And it does look like they're moving down to the dam. Excuse the back of my head for now. I'm only seeing two of the Birmingham males, so I'm thinking it's just the two. Maybe you guys can send through if there's a scent mark that's happening there. Maybe you all can send through a GIF for any of our new viewers who might not know the Burmese by name. He's looking more full than his brother was. And I'm just going to let him walk past that vehicle and let those guests get a, a, a shot with their camera without us in the way. There we go. That's happened, so let's carry on. And go and get another of everybody all together. Oh, okay. Now, the Burmese are being too nice to us. I'm going to go up onto the Thermite. That's going to be amazing. Shot. Think about any pictures. Everybody. From time to time. Oh, they're going to sit side by side. This is going to be too good. And there's a little bit of wind now in the mains. So the females are behind us and they're also turn. The males have come up to the. Oh, they're. 
Puto, ó. But we've got a third berm amount that's coming through. So we might be lucky to have the fourth. So for anyone that's new, one of them passed away. So the four brothers are still left. And they have several prides of females that they say hello to, for lack of a better term. Six pride that we saw earlier that's with us uh, now, just behind us. That's one of the prides. They also work with the Incohumas and the Torch up when the Talamati came through into Biffles Hook as well. But, oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Our signal is really having a problem right now. So let's head over to Steve while we busy try to sort this out.